the average Christian, see, the average Christian and the average conservative is actually a nice person. You don't have any we don't have an Antifa for conservatives. Right. We don't have an organization with people with masks on that are burning, you know, property up and, and intimidating people because it's not the nature of a Christian or conservative. That's right. But what the left does that the nice, sweet Christian and conservative doesn't understand is they, they'll, you'll hear the argument in your head, well, don't, shouldn't we be like just loving of everybody? Well, yeah, you should be loving of everybody. But what the left will do is they'll use the argument of loving everybody to have an activist organization target into your church, into your business, True. an activist from their side so that they can penetrate your culture. They're far more aggressive at discipling you and evangelizing and converting you to their religion than the church has been in 100 years. My God. And, they, and they target. It's not, like, it's not like, well, aren't you open to everybody? They'll send someone so they can initiate the lawsuit because you didn't comply with the new federal ordinance. Mm -hmm. And that's the kind of litigation that mm -hmm. is going to come stalking every independent business owner and every church. It's going to be happening faster than you think because these policies have been attempted already, and they're pushed back before you even hear it in the public conversation mm -hmm. because you've got someone like Trump and like Pence, and like Pompeo, and you've got a strong firewall. But I'll tell you something. You erode that firewall, and you watch how fast. You know, I look at Hong Kong, and I'm seeing all these thousands of demonstrators out on the street. Well, you know what? There's so much like America. When China was signed off as taking over uh, Hong Kong, and they started to execute a deal that they had, a 99-year deal with Great Britain, the, the Hong Kong people were asleep when they woke up to the fact that anybody who was resistant to the Chinese new takeover, and that meant they're starting to control everything, mm -hmm. they were being extradited to China where they were never heard of again. And that's when the people got nervous and started protesting. Most Americans don't even know what the protest is about. The problem is it's a day late and a dollar short. Yeah. And that'll happen in America. You'll see the church up in arms when, when you have a weaponized Senate, Congress, judiciary, Look at what they're trying to do with Kavanaugh. Right. They, that not only will they not accept uh, a loss, they will reverse it. Mm -hmm. so, so in America, it's the apathy mm -hmm. of the church that is its greatest threat. America really isn't as threatened by the left as it is threatened by the apathy of Christians. Right.